Let's begin the demo as the bid manager for green energy. The bid manager for green energy is a business person who lives in Microsoft Outlook for most of their day. This bid manager can leverage the Alfresco Outlook client to access all of the content stored and managed by Alfresco right within their familiar Outlook environment. So as the bid manager, I want to send out a call for proposals for a new windmill project that I'm working on. In the Alfresco Outlook client, I can browse all of the content stored in the repository to find any relevant documents to be able to preview them and send them out in an email. Of course, because this content is stored in Alfresco, which also manages metadata and other information about the documents, I also have access to the powerful search features of Alfresco right within Outlook. So by simply searching for a CFP, that'll bring back the relevant documents related to call for proposals. Of course, this search is subject to all the security defined in, in Alfresco, so I'm only returned back documents that I have permission to use and view. Here I can preview the document to see if this is indeed the document that I want. So I can see in the previewer that this is the proposal document that I'd like to send to my vendor. And here I can click the icon, which will construct a brand new email for me. So I can send this email out to my vendors. Please review our CFP with a proposal by the due date. So right within Outlook I was able to access that content, send it off as an email to my vendors without ever leaving Outlook. So now let's see how the vendors might respond to this call for proposals. The vendors may be using any sort of email system such as Thunderbird for example. I can see now that I have received the email from the bid manager. It has the attached CFP document. So I can review this document in Word and then respond back with a proposal. So now I'm going to respond to the CFP by sending my proposal. The vendor can actually send their proposal directly to Alfresco. Alfresco has the ability to process inbound email from an inbox, strip off the attachments, and start a workflow to process the proposal. So I'm going to simply attach my proposal document to the email. And send it. So now I can see that the email has been sent. And now the bid manager, directly from their Outlook client, can click on the workflow tab to see that there's a new task that's been generated. So that inbound email that came from the vendor was automatically inserted into Alfresco and launched this task. I'm presented with the details of the task. I can certainly open up the document and preview it. I could download it and review it more explicitly. I can add my comments. And the next step in the process could be a legal review, maybe by an outside counsel. So as the bid manager, I know I just need to do my approval to send this task along. And behind the scenes, the Alfresco workflow will take care of sending this to the next step in the process. So now, just to show you what's going on behind the scenes, I'm going to log into the Alfresco Share interface. <clears throat> Here we can see all of the capabilities of Alfresco exposed in a web-based UI that we call Share. We can see here on this landing page a configurable set of views or dashlets that show me the content that I'm working on, the activity that's been happening in my sites, etc. I'm actually going to take a look at this project outline document that we've been processing. 
This detailed view inside of Share allows me to manipulate the document to be able to get to all the capabilities of Alfresco and also see all of the metadata and properties of this document. We can also see here that this document as part of the workflow was automatically synced to our Alfresco cloud location to allow external collaboration on this particular document. This particular workflow assumes an outside legal counsel is going to review this content and I may not want that outside legal counsel to have access to my Alfresco repository behind the firewall. So the unique Alfresco hybrid model allows us to sync this to the cloud, make it available to the outside legal counsel to review, and we'll see as this process happens that this document can come back on premises and continue along in the workflow. So one way the external legal counsel may want to interact with the content is through their mobile device. The Alfresco mobile application is available for iOS and Android and it allows me to connect to both the Alfresco cloud content as well as on-premises Alfresco installations. So here I can see inside the Alfresco client I've actually got the tasks sent to me from Green Energy to approve this document. So I can review the document directly on the mobile device. I can open the document in an editing application, make changes, maybe annotate the document for example, and actually approve the content with a comment. All from the mobile device. Of course I could do this through a web browser as well. So this gives you flexibility for users to work where they want to work. So now we're going to take a look inside of Alfresco to see what's been going on with this content behind the scenes. If we look in the share application again we can see the recent activity that's happened with the green energy site. And we notice that our document appears here and a few things have happened to it as an automated part of the workflow. First of all, it's been turned into a PDF file automatically. So the Word document was automatically transitioned into a PDF file. And it also went through some digital workflow to add a watermark to this document. This is just an example of the kinds of things that you might do to manipulate this document as it moves through the workflow. You could imagine doing electronic signatures on documents to approve them, or this simple watermarking approach, as well as this transformation to PDF and other automated processing of the document that you might want to make part of the workflow. The other thing that has happened is we've subjected this file now to records management. With the Alfresco records management system, this can all be done behind the scenes without the user needing to get involved. This document has been put under records management. There can be extensive retention policies applied to it, and it will now be subject to our corporate governance as defined in file plans in the records management system. We can view the audit log of this document to see exactly how it's been processed, what kind of disposition schedule has been applied, etc. So this gives us that governance that we need around the document without the user having to even really be involved. So what we've seen is an end-to-end -end workflow a bid manager sent out a call for proposals to the vendor. The vendor responded via email. The email launched a workflow that was approved by an external legal counsel through the unique Alfresco hybrid sync. That external legal counsel was able to interact via the cloud in their mobile application. And we saw the workflow processing the document after it was approved putting it under records management, transforming it into PDF, all while keeping the users and the tools that they're most comfortable with and making the workflow do the heavy lifting behind the scenes.